There's Steve here from More Mobile Internet. Today we're going to show you how to use the Verizon coverage map. And to get there in the first place, you are just going to click the coverage maps menu button over here on the, on the left hand side of More Mobile Internet. That's going to take you to this page that I'm already on. And of course, now you just click on Verizon coverage. And that takes us over to the Verizon coverage map. Now, one of the first things we want to do is click on this radio button right here for 4G data coverage. That needs to be checked, otherwise we're going to get uh, information that's not correct for what we're looking for. Now, you have a choice. You can either put in a street address here or an actual zip code and give you it'll give you a little broader look at the area. But let's look at the actual street address of somewhere here in Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona, and we're going to hit search, and boom, there we go. Now we've got a map, and it's very close in. You can see the streets right there. So if you have a house or office, this is very handy to see what your actual coverage is in your actual area. Now, as you can see from the legend here, it's a dark red. That means it is, in fact, 4G LTE coverage, which means you're going to get data speeds on a Verizon mobile broadband card of anywhere from usually 5 to 25 megabytes per second, which is really fast. So that's great news for this area. Now, let's go ahead and uh, look at the city level. We'll pan out a little bit and give, us, give ourselves a broader view. Now, let's even go a little farther. There we go. That's the entire Phoenix metro area here in the middle of the page, and that's the dark red signifying 4G. Now, if we look out here in the more rural areas, actually these are just desert over here, this is 3G. So that means you're still gonna get speeds of usually half to one megabit per second, uh, which is decent, but it's of course nothing near 4G like you'll get over here. So that gives you an, an easy way to look at the map, determine if you have 4G or 3G, or another good point is if you have white, that means there's no coverage whatsoever. And uh, luckily those are areas where there's virtually nothing going on, so very rare to find yourself in one of those areas.